For more than 50 years, marijuana has been listed among the world's most dangerous drugs, classified alongside the likes of heroin or ecstasy. But tonight, in a major shift, according to sources with knowledge of the decision, the Biden administration is looking to reclassify the drug to Schedule 3, like ketamine or testosterone or Tylenol with codeine, which would allow marijuana to be more easily studied for medical benefits. The change would not legalize recreational marijuana, the possession and distribution of which is still a federal crime, but would recognize it as a drug less likely to lead to addiction. Stephanie Shepard served nine years for conspiracy to distribute. What does this mean for incarceration rates in America? Hopefully it means a step closer to lowering those rates um, and also releasing those who are serving heinous sentences for cannabis. Public opinion has shifted dramatically in the last 20 years, from 34% of Americans who believe marijuana should be legal to 70%. Nearly half of states have legalized marijuana for recreational use. But tonight, one opposition group says the cannabis industry has lobbied heavily to sell demonstrably harmful products and calls out the Biden administration for a, quote, thinly veiled attempt to reverse polling trends. No one should be jailed. President Biden has already pardoned thousands thousands of marijuana offenders, and the move could garner political support this election year, particularly among young and black voters. The proposed change still has to go through a public comment period and would not become official for at least 60 days. Blaine Alexander, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.